All right. So, hi. Uh, we're going to say good morning to our Facebook world and our YouTube world. Hi. I'm going to say hi to that camera uh, and explain what's going on. I was just taking a moment because I started going live on Instagram, uh, which is this camera. Good morning. And decided that maybe I would try and do them at the same time. Why not? So if you see me kind of flipping between cameras, um, that that's why. But uh, I just wanted to say good morning. Um, I'm having a cup of tea. Um, so I got this mug. <laughs> I got this mug for Christmas uh, from my mother-in-law, Ryan's mom, um, who... <laughs> God bless her. I think we have a lot more in common than I probably originally realized. Uh, which is usually the case. The longer you get to know somebody and you get to know more about them, then you can find the similarities. So she got me this mug and it says, To my dear daughter-in-law, I didn't give you the gift of life. I gave you my amazing son. Thank you for not selling him to the circus. I know how tempting that option is some days. Love your mother-in-law. <laughs> Couldn't be more perfect. Some days he would go, he probably would prefer the circus. He would prefer going to the circus. And he would, I don't know, give me a diatribe uh, on why going to the circus was a good idea. So thank you, Cheryl. This was a wonderful Christmas gift. Mm. So, um, the baby is still sleeping and Ryan is at work and I am, uh, only allowed to drink clear liquids or black coffee or black tea. Why is that? <laughs> uh, my nursey friends, my medical friends will know, um, why that is. Uh, because that is how you prepare for surgery, if you're going to have surgery. This is, I mean, not something that um, was planned. This is kind of an emergency deal. Um, so if you're on the, on the Facebook or, or YouTube, you'll see the title um, of this video is called Have Tea With Me and My Ticking Time Bomb. Uh, and the ticking time bomb in this case is a three centimeter kidney stone. Mm. Um, so I've had kidney stones before. I have bad kidneys. Thank you, dad. <laughs> it's a hereditary thing. Um, so I've had six kidney surgeries, but I haven't had one in about five years because uh, you, you do dietary changes and, and things like that. And, um, and the biggest one I ever had was six millimeters. <laughs> six millimeters. So a three centimeter one, we're talking like that is about three centimeters, I guess, three centimeters. Um, like, yeah. So, uh, they found it by accident. This is the good news, bad news of this story, right? <laughs> Play this good news, bad news game. Uh, that, um, I had been, I had gone to the doctor to get, uh, checked for some, you know, just, just a checkup after, after my mom passed. 
And um, I just wanted to get checked because I had, you know, some weight loss and I wasn't feeling well in certain areas. And um, so that's what you do. You go and get checked. And uh, they did some blood work and all the blood work came out fine. Uh, they did a EKG on my heart and my heart is fine. Uh, I could have told you that. Um, <laughs> uh, they did, um, they checked for a pulmonary embolism in my lungs. So my lungs are fine. <clears throat> and so they sent me for a CT scan um, because I couldn't find anything anywhere else. And that's just basically a series of like x-rays that cross section, whatever area uh, and they did like from my neck area to um, my hip area uh, to check maybe if I had anything in my my um, thyroid or in my abdomen. And they couldn't find anything. That's the that is the blessing in this. Good news, bad news, right? They couldn't find anything except a three centimeter kidney stone in my in my right kidney. <laughs> that was just coincident, like not coincidental, but accidental. Like they weren't even looking at really looking at my kidneys, but it just came up like, "Hi, I'm here. I am existing, ready to come out and play." That's how I imagine my kidney stone to sound. I'm going to cause you lots and lots of pain. Uh, so they called me like right away. This was um, uh, last week, so Friday. And, and they knew that I was waiting for the uh, test results like before Christmas weekend and all this. So. Um, I figured, hey, they were just being nice, wanted me to not stress about it over Christmas. But yeah. So once the everybody was back in session, um, they were like, you need to come in like and see a urologist ASAP, like yesterday. Are you having, everybody goes, are you having pain? No, um, there's no pain. No pain, no tenderness, no, I mean, no, because I've had kidney stones before, so I know what that pain feels like, uh, but everybody is very concerned about this stone passing. Like, if it passes, it is going to wreak havoc. It's three centimeters. It will, they are, you know, they're just worried about it just, um ripping everything up on its way out or it just causing so much pain. And then it, it, it may be even causing a kidney infection, which has happened to me before. And uh, I've ended up in the hospital with a kidney infection. So they're like, you need to get in now. And so I made an appointment to go in this morning. Um, and then they called me back a couple of hours later, like later in the day yesterday. And they were like, don't eat, drink anything after midnight. I'm like, why? Is this standard? I've, I've, I've seen, I've seen the urologist before for kidney stones. And they were like, no, we think you're going to have to go right in the surgery. And I'm like, what? I have a son who has no daycare this week because it's between Christmas and New Year's. You can't just tell me that <laughs> with no preparation. I have a husband who wants to join the circus. No, he's actually very helpful. Uh, but I, I would, yeah. So I uh, go in this morning at 1030 and then uh, they just, they want to get me into surgery as soon as possible to, um, 
<clears throat> extract it. And apparently now I'm getting more information that um, it's not the only one. There is a three centimeter one, which is the large one that everybody's worried about because if it starts to pass, then it's like, do you have pain? Are you feeling any pain? Is there any pain? There's no pain. There's no pain right now. Thank you. Uh, but nobody wants that pain because that would be like giving birth pain. That's how, that's how painful that is. Yeah. Um, so likely this afternoon going into surgery, kidney surgery. Uh, and then my guess is that they will extract the three centimeter one. And um, now there's more. There's like a cluster of littler ones. And anybody who's had kidney stones know that that's pretty common. So they're going to kind of blast those out. Uh, yeah, so that's fun. And that means I'll have like a stint um, if they blast them so that the small pieces can kind of just pass through. I'm trying not to get too graphic here on a on a morning live stream. But that's, a, a, you know, uncomfortable. Um, and then, you know, the big thing that I'm actually concerned about that uh, I could not I just laid awake last night worrying about it. Um, you're, uh, I'm probably not going to be able to, to like lift until like the stint is out. So that's going to be a few days. Um, and that means like picking my son up and down, you know, getting up and up and down in the high chair and in and out of the car seat, <laughs> just picking him up in general, putting them in a bed. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be, have to be like modified processes in our house right now. Cause I can't pick up my, cause I won't be able to pick up my son for a few days. So this is uh, a lot of things that are like going through my mind and um, as I'm having this morning tea, um, uh, yeah, this is, this is like, I kind of had this funny thought as I was laying there in bed worrying about all of this. I was like, I was like, maybe I was bad this year and Santa just brought me a piece of coal and just stuck it into my kidney. <laughs> there it is. Three centimeter piece of coal in your kidney. Try and get that one out, Nikki. Ugh. So I'm trying to get it to the right headspace because that's what we do. We try and get ourselves into the right headspace at the beginning of the day. And uh, so I was reading through some of my meditations and um, always it's, you know, I love it because it always set, ends up being a very appropriate for what I'm going through at that moment and, or, you know, many moments. And, um, says this life within me is developing slowly, but surely with many setbacks, <laughs> many mistakes, um, many failures, but still developing as long as I stick close to my purpose. Um, my life will go on developing and I cannot let uh, the fear and anxiety deter me from what I am building. I have to have faith that I know that it will be good. So build your life on the firm foundation of gratitude and true humility. Wow. <sighs> okay. So everybody is building something in their lives, um, physically or metaphorically. I think I'm metaphorically building stuff in my life. You know, I'm building a brand and building 
a family, um, a home, um, a company, a uh, community, a subculture. So we're all building something. And it says, you know, if you're whatever you're building, just one, believe in it. Know that what you're doing is good. Have good intentions. Have good motivations. And then know that that purpose is good. And <clears throat> build that on a foundation of gratitude and humility. Uh, that's the hard part. It's like, because a lot of times building things requires confidence and uh, maybe slightly a bit of, air, not arrogance, but, you know, swagger and, um, yeah, confidence. And confidence can bring ego. And ego and humility don't usually go together. <laughs> So that's a challenge. Uh, if you can figure out how to bring ego and uh, humility together, uh, you know. All right. I think always checking our intentions. That's a good place to round this out. How do we know we're going in the right direction? I ask myself that every single day. How do I know what I'm doing is the right thing? Check your intentions. Are your intentions good? Are your motivations good? Is it based from a good place? Yeah. Yeah. So that's where you get your humility from. Check and check yourself. So I will try and keep you posted on what's happening with the ticking time bomb, the three centimeter um, kidney stone, probably uh, getting into surgery this afternoon. I see the doctor uh, in about two hours. So we'll see. Um, I um, will, I, everything will be fine. I will be fine. It's just, okay, do I really have to deal with this right now? Yeah, I really have to deal with this right now. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, serene day and your purpose is rooted in good intentions with love and humility, okay? Uh, All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>